Greetings, everyone. My name is Isaac Proch, and you're listening to My Thoughts On. All right. First visual accompaniment to the audio for My Thoughts On podcast. We're leveling things up here. I'm going to try out this new green screen behind me, but for those of you that don't know what a green screen is, just forget that I said that and be amazed by the visuals. My name is Isaac Proch. Greetings, everyone, and thank you for tuning into My Thoughts On. It's a short-form podcast hosted by me. And today we're going to be talking about Thumper Plus by Droll LLC. This is also a title found on Apple Arcade, and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. It's your stereotypical tower defense game. It has a ton of levels, a ton of different enemy types, a ton of different unit types, and just all around a really, uh, really solid level of polish that I think Apple Arcade is definitely continuing to maintain with the majority of their releases and the games that they bring onto the platform. I have definitely hit a few spots in Frontiers Plus where the pacing overall could have been a little bit better. I think that they they added some elements with the pay-to-win um, variety, and unfortunately there were a few levels where it seemed like all I had to do to really get past it was just pay for the power-ups and the different like one-time use items that you can get from the shop. I, I tried to stay away from those as much as possible, but it, it really did become a challenge in a few spots within the campaign there. And I remember playing some earlier forms of Frontiers, uh, probably on like PC, and I think like a lot of the no clip games and some of the new grounds, a lot of those tower defense flash games that came up. I definitely, um, what's the one? Uh, Balloons Tower Defense. This is very similar, and it reminds me of just a game from that whole era of tower defense. Um, yeah, so I think that the gameplay. Overall, it's what you can expect. Uh, nothing too out of the box or too unique, really, when it comes to Frontiers Plus. But the polish and just really making that addictive gameplay loop uh, it is where it shines. I think the soundtrack, it uh, doesn't really add much to the overall experience other than just creating some background tracks. And definitely keeps everything on brand with just the medieval sort of... Uh, yeah, medieval direction of the game with Frontiers. And I don't even know if, if there is a storyline. I forget if it had sort of like an opening cutscene or any explainer with the narrative behind it. From what I've gathered, there is none, and it's just your sort of this benevolent, um, not benevolent, but omnipresent figure that's controlling this these armies and, and trying to protect your kingdom from enemy invaders. Uh, yeah, and then moving from that over to the art side of things i think the art and the gameplay the both of those really and, and that sounds stupid saying out loud of course the art and the gameplay for a video game is gonna matter but for frontiers plus in particular just the level of details they have in all of the ui i think it's very easy to pick up regardless of the age or uh experience with these types of games you can very quickly see okay it's intuitively i can click this button to drop my troops here and then i can click on that troop and it will give me other options in terms of moving them around or upgrading and I, I found myself enjoying the art more than the gameplay just because I don't know if I would stick around as much as I did in Frontiers Plus if the art was sort of sloppier or not in a, a more polished state that it is now. Um, I'm thinking back to like Balloons TD and some of the early Flash games, especially on PC and just like browser-based um, it definitely would be a drag here if if that art wasn't leveled up for Frontiers Plus. So, yeah, I think Droll LLC, shout out to the developers behind Thump... Uh, bleh, not Thumper Plus. Um, I, I'm an idiot. It's not Thumper Plus. Uh, <laughs> wait, Frontiers Plus, where... Who, 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 who did this? Um, Frontiers Plus. I will find out right now. Frontiers Plus. Okay. And yeah, with the visuals accompanying this, you'll see live in the process. So Kingdom Rush Frontiers Tower Defense 12 Plus is the new name of it, the full name. Um, but it looks like the developer is actually... Yeah, Kingdom Rush Frontiers Tower Defense Plus. That is a, a lengthy name. I'm going to continue to just call it Frontiers Plus. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> um, Ironhide IRL. So shout out to Ironhide. I think you guys are doing a great job with uh, Frontiers. And I haven't tried your other games, but I, I definitely will now after playing this. So rounding out the episode for my thoughts on, I think that Thumper, blah, blah, blah. I think that Frontiers Plus 
is not necessarily a must play. I think if you are a fan of tower defense games or if you are itching to play something just sort of mindless and to pass the time, which a lot of the Apple Arcade games are great with, I think Frontiers Plus is for you. However, if you're just looking for a fun game and want to invest some time and maybe you play primarily on your iPhone, I don't think Frontiers Plus is a must play for me. I had a ton of fun with it. I would still recommend it to any and all, but um, as a must play and as just sort of the... I think at the end of my thoughts on, I should probably compile a, a top 10 list of like Apple arcade experiences that are like my must play and maybe not even limited to 10, just my must play list for Apple arcade. So, um, yeah, Frontiers plus Ironhide IRL on Apple arcade today. Thank you so much. I'm Isaac Proach. And those were my thoughts on Frontiers plus. Thanks so much to everyone tuning in new episodes coming weekly.